Number 10. Saddam Hussein had secret alien technology and even a stargate. Some conspiracy theorists claimed that the reason why America, Britain and other powers went into Iraq was not over oil or over political ideas or to defeat an evil dictatorship, but instead to reclaim alien technology that Saddam Hussein had unearthed from ancient cities within Mesopotamia. So some people out there actually believed that Saddam Hussein had a stargate and was in communication with aliens living on Nibiru. 9. After 9-11, there were some people who claimed that the events of 9-11 were carried out by UFOs. Either alien craft owned by the government using some kind of cloaking or alteration technology to make themselves appear to the aircraft or appear invisible, or they were actually alien craft carrying out an attack on behalf of or in coalition with the US government. And there are some videos you can find of people discussing this in depth, pointing out where they can find UFOs on the same day as 9-11, and even at the same location, saying that there's a connection between UFOs and the events of 9-11. 8. For those of you who know of certain New Age beliefs about aliens and UFOs, you know talk of reptilians and palladians is not unheard of. One conspiracy theory, however, claims that reptilians are palladians, and indeed the Palladians are Reptilians. And in actuality, it's a deception on the part of these bad aliens to look like us, pretend that they're our ancestors, and basically dominate us through false prophets. There have been claims that they will come along, a bit like the film V, and basically appear to be our saviours, but in fact will enslave us, control us, and steal our resources. 7. The moon is a hologram. Now there are many people out there who claim that they actually believe this. That the moon is not there, that the real moon has been moved and replaced by a holographic projection. And if you use the right kind of cameras, you can see a certain amount of drag and alteration in the coloration of the moon through these low quality cameras. And thus you can tell it's a hologram. And they'll go even further. They'll say, Jupiter's a hologram. They'll say Mars is a hologram. Or my favourite, the Sun is a hologram. They believe because they get a bit of distortion on a bit of video, or someone makes a persuasive argument with limited information, that it means the Moon must be holographic. Or whatever the case may be. 6. The Hollow Earth Cover-Up now the idea is, a bit like the idea of the hollow moon, is that there are civilizations within that sphere. So with the Earth, they believe there are openings and there are connections to an inside world and there's an inner sun inside the Earth. And the claims are many. They make claims about UFOs, about reptilians, about an alternative reality, about different fields of time, about dinosaurs living underground, and many other ideas. They claim there are holes near the North and South Pole, as well as other locations, and deep within cave systems. 5. The World Wars were an inside job. Now, we're used to hearing people saying 9-11 was an inside job, but the World Wars? There are many conspiracy theorists who say that those events placed more power in fewer hands. They make certain claims about the monarchies of Europe and how they collaborated in the First World War, how they set up Hitler and other dictators to create the Great Conflict, how they backed Stalin, how they created the Russian Revolution in the first place, and orchestrated events to move things towards a global dictatorship. But of course, when you select information, as indeed they do, you can make practically anything work. Such radical claims are supported by radical information, selected information, quote mining, to make it seem like there's a genuine pattern. 4. White people are from Mars and Jews come from space. The claim made by many New Age conspiracy theorists is that 
The Earth and Mars once came very close. The inhabitants of Mars, which was suffering from a catastrophe, basically fled to Earth. With superior technology, they conquered the Earth, along with their allies, the reptilians and the Jews. There are many variations on this conspiracy theory. David Icke, in fact, claims that certain half-breeds, which were bred into the white race, basically came from Mars with their allies, the reptilians. Whereas some people like Von Helton, a YouTube logger, claims that black people came with the reptilians and the white people originally lived on Earth. 3. The New World Religion Now the claim is, for a new world order, to unite the people, dominate the people, manipulate them, brainwash them fully, you need some kind of new religion. Now certain people have claimed that New Age is the new religion, that New Atheism will be the new world religion, that the Occupy movement and other such ideas are going to be the new world religion. So the trick is, in many cases, to pick a belief that you don't like, make out it's even worse than it actually is, make out it's going to dominate your country, your part of the world, and then claim that it's a conspiracy to use that fundamental belief to undermine certain freedoms and make people content with a tyranny. 2. Evolution is a conspiracy. Now the claim made by creationist organisations, both Young Earth and Old Earth creationists, as well as several other strands and varieties of creationism, is that there is this massive conspiracy of scientists all over the world who want to refute and bury the idea of creationism. So you have these creationists who can't provide evidence for their claims, and you have the people who have the evidence for what's actually real, and you can dismiss them because they're anti-God, even though a reasonable percentage of scientists are in fact religious. Quite small in the higher echelons of science, becoming larger in the more average level of science, including school education and medical doctors, for example. So while creationists cannot confirm their ideas, they can use persuasive arguments, they can use quote mining, they can use various fallacies of different kinds which they can pull out of their backside. They cannot truly really refute the science of evolution and therefore a good fallback position is to throw in the idea of a conspiracy of scientists preventing the truth from getting out. 1. Civilizations on Mars and beyond. Now I think the odds are good that there is alien life out there somewhere, somewhere in the universe. And modern science agrees that we can say there is almost certainly alien life somewhere out there in the universe. However, conspiracy theorists, ufologists claim that they have evidence of civilization, either living or dead, within our very own solar system. Their claim is that grainy, unclear images, whether it's to do with Mars, the Moon, perhaps Mercury, or any other body within the solar system, where there appears to be something which could be something else. It could be something more square, perhaps, something that looks like it's something that sticks out, doesn't belong, must be evidence of something more than natural occurrences. But of course, because they're using very grainy images, they're zooming in, changing coloration, running it through filters, try and bring out the image. They're in fact creating an image which is not realistic. But of course, many such images are low quality anyway. And those are the ones they can pick out and say, here's evidence of a base on Mars, or a pyramid on Mars, a face on Mars, or perhaps some kind of base on Mercury. By using this method, by using this bad evidence, they support bad arguments about living or dead civilizations within our very own solar system. You show courage, but not much sense.